and the magnet snaps work like this and they come in different sizes I chose these big ones Oop, very magnetic and each one comes with one of these so the way it works is you put one of these through your fabric through the right side of the fabric and when it comes on the other side you put this on the on the back to hold it in place here I have the lining of my bag and I folded the bag in half to identify the middle point I pressed it with my fingers and I opened it like that I decided that this snap should be about one and a half inches down from the very edge of the fabric because we're going to sew this to the main body of the bag and then the, we will do an extra stitching on the outside of the bag and to allow for all those for the machine to go freely I made it go down one and a quarter one and a quarter one and a half inches I think it was let me just double check um, yes one and a half inches which is about four centimeters and I did a mark on each one of them also to secure to stop the fabric from ripping more than it has to I cut two squares of fusible interfacing the firm interfacing and I iron them in place as you would normally do with interfacing this is completely optional but I like to do it to stop to protect the fabric really to keep this in place more securely and prevent the fabric from fraying If you're using a thicker fabric, perhaps you don't need to do it, but I always do. I made the mark match the other side, so I know where to put the, the magnets. So with that done, I am also going to... Can you see the two legs? I'm going to put them there. I made a cross there. And I know that I have to do a slit there and one here to put this through. And for that I'm just using my little scissors. Gently, 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 just a little bit. And on the other side. And getting the snap. Oop. I think I have to make it a bit bigger. The teeth have gone through and now I am going to put one of these washers. I really don't know what name they have but I shall put it there. Can you see the holes? Put it through like so. And quite firmly, I'm going to push the feet down, those little legs. Push towards the inside. And then the next one. Making sure that this round disc is touching quite low, going quite low against the fabric. And then the other one. You can put a bit of pressure with the back of your scissors. Push hard. Or even if you have a set of pliers, you could squeeze it with that. There. Making sure, if you use pliers, uh, protect this side so you don't uh, scratch the metal on the magnet itself. And now, uh, to do the other one. And we will just confirm that the two magnets will be touching. Yeah, where I did the mark earlier, that's my dot. And where I put the 
the interface and at the back to reinforce. So I will repeat the process there. And finding the gaps, pushing the legs through, and we repeat the process with the other disc there. Pushing it down again, making sure the disc goes quite low, flat against the magnet on the other side. Pushing with the scissors, and then the other side, push down. And there they are. Ta -da! Easy does it. And you see that there we will have plenty of space to run the stitching along the sewing machine. That's something really important to keep in mind. Otherwise, if this goes too close to the edge, you might not be able to sew properly. So thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. See you soon.